Hello YouTube, this is Bubs Comics coming at you with uh, my MyComicShop.com pre-orders came in and uh, let's take a look at them. They must have had some sort of like a little snafu with the uh, shipping. Uh, generally, I'd get the economy shipping, it's five bucks for as much as you can shove in the um, container. So I think it's great and uh, it's an unlimited amount of books for five bucks shipped. And they say on the site that it takes anywhere from I think five to fifteen days but many times I get it in three or four days this one took over a week so that doesn't usually happen but it's okay it arrived safely uh, first we have uh, they always throw in these free DC nations so DC nation uh, number five so I have the whole run of these just because they're free and I don't mind I have a lot of magazine bags and boards I'm not using anyway so why not right they're not taking up too much space yet <laughs> I'll go ahead and take that down because it's so big. Uh, next we have True Believers, number one, uh, The Punisher. And everyone says, oh, you can't beat that for a buck, right? Well, I, I recently just read it too, and it's, it's a pretty good story. Um, and I do like the True Believers series. I have quite a few of them now. And uh, you really can't beat it for a buck unless you got it for 65 cents, which is what you do with the pre-orders, right? So I really like that. Uh, next we have Oblivion Song number 7, uh, I've already read it as well, and it was excellent. Um, I don't know about this, this series, uh, I've been really enjoying it, but in the last issue, um, like, I liked the main character, I think his name's Nathan, um, I like the main character, you know, he's pretty decent hero type, I was really enjoying it, and then in the last... Uh, issue they kind of changed it a little and now he's like a more of a tragic figure or someone that that you maybe don't like as well and I know that that adds depth and all that to the characters but you know I'm kind of a superhero fan and I like some depth to the characters but it doesn't have to get so deep to where I don't like them as a hero anymore you know I'm getting a little tired of all the anti-hero stuff and the villains being really being heroes and all that I, I just like my heroes to be heroes and this guy, he's kind of taking a turn, and he's not the hero kind of that we thought he was, which is really interesting for the story, but I don't want to have to read another 20 or 30 issues of, of him being sad about what a hero he used to be. So, I, you know, we'll see how it goes, uh, but for right now, I'm thinking I might actually pull away from this title a little bit. I've still got a couple more on pre-order, but I think I'm going to remove it from my list. And then I'll just read it like digitally or something um, if I feel like catching up in the series. And then next, uh, super excited about this, Dynamite has put out The Lone Ranger! And uh, <laughs> very happy. Uh, volume 3 is finally here. Uh, the storytelling, the character dynamic between him and Tonto are just fantastic. Very classic. They keep true to the, to the feeling of the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Uh, if you read the Dell series, that gets a little, you know, heavy sometimes, but really enjoyed this comic run that they've been doing on Dynamite. This is volume three, plus there's been a long series of kind of like annuals where they had Lone Ranger and Tonto titled books. Uh, just a fantastic job, and of course, had to get the A cover. John Cassidy A cover, one of my favorite artists, especially cover artists. Uh, could not pass it up. Super happy to have it, and thank you, Dynamite, for keeping this ball rolling. And I can't wait to read. Uh, and the first issue is fantastic, and I can't read. To, can't wait to read issue number two. Uh, next, we have Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number one. I already have Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number one, but they the response was so good that they did like an exclusive variant, uh, pre-order only, I think, of this cover. And this was a um, fourth. Of, they they came out with the idea to do a reprint on Fourth of July, even though it doesn't land until you know October. It's kind of odd, but uh, in any case, it's a pretty good uh, book. If you haven't read um, Elvira Number One, I recommend picking it up. Dynamite's doing another great job with this. It's sexy and fun, flirty and cute, and just very you know kitschy like uh, like Elvira is. So if you're an Elvira fan, you'll absolutely love this book. Um, they already came out with number two, which I did pick up as well. So I've been collecting all the photo variants of these. They have a lot of variants for these covers. I think they're like seven or eight uh, per book. 
So I've been picking up just the photo variants, and that's what my collection is going to be, just the photos. Which is why I ended up getting this one as well, because it was a photo variant. So, uh, but normally there's only one photo variant per issue. So this is number two. Again, I already read this story, so I got all these in yesterday, and I read them all last night. <laughs> I was really excited. That's one of the good things. I like to binge read all these. Uh, this was another great story. Really fun and flirty, and uh, if you like Elvira, you'll love it. Uh, next we have James Bond Origin. So, uh, I don't want to get, you know, too comics gate political and all that kind of stuff, but basically there is a trend in comics where characters are changing and they are really trying to rewrite origins or, or completely get, get rid of existing, uh, especially rather, you know, macho or male uh, characteristics, you know, masculine, you know, the, the idea of toxic masculinity is out there. Whether you agree with that or not, I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> I'm a James Bond fan, uh, classic James Bond, so I was really worried when Dynamite came out with the new origin of James Bond. Now, Dynamite, they, I like them as a publisher because they kind of, in my opinion, make comics for everyone. Uh, there's comics that are for the more traditional male audience, and there's comics for the whatever the new audience is. I don't, I wouldn't necessarily call it female audience, but whatever this new audience is. Um, so there's new there's new comics for them too, and Dynamite does I think a pretty good job of putting out a fair amount of both types of comics. And again, not to get too political or anything, but I really don't care what you read. You know, <laughs> I only care about what I read. So it doesn't bother me that they make those comics or I don't think that it's, you know, destroying everything. You know, uh, there's so many comics for me to read that are the way I like them that I do that. And that's why I don't pick up too many modern comics. But every now and then there are some modern comics I really get into and they're more in the style of the older comics. So anyway, when James Bond uh, Origin came out, this is number two. I already read number one. Uh, number one played it kind of safe, but number two definitely gets into the original Bond feeling, and uh, it's definitely a classic Bond. They didn't rewrite him to make him some, you know, less masculine Bond or some super liberal feminist or anything like that. Um, it's just a classic Bond story, and if you liked Bond before, you'll like these origin stories. So if you're a little worried about them like I was, uh, getting into them, I was like, oh, I don't know what this is going to be, how much are they going to change the character? Um, so if you were like that, um, then you got my recommendation on this, that this is a solid title uh, in the classic Bond tradition. So, And definitely worth it. And they're not completely abandoning the regular Bond series as there's another Bond series coming out right on the heels of this that uh, is classic Bond stories. So it's going to be good. Uh, highly recommend it. Great story so far. And this book was the bet was way better than number one too. Like I said, number one was okay, but and I was still a little worried. But number two, definitely a fantastic book. I love it. Uh, here is Return of Wolverine. I already have one of these. Uh, I have the Neil Adams variant that I picked up on eBay right right as it hit the uh, MyComicShop.com exclusive variant. So I picked up one of those. Uh, but I already had this on pre-order. I'm glad I've already read the story. I wasn't really impressed with it, but the cover looked all right. And I know they had like 150 covers of these. And there, I swear there's still new variants coming out. It seems like every day. But, you know, I'm not going crazy with all those. Um, I did that for the uh, Hunt for Wolverine, the first Hunt for Wolverine book. I bought like almost every variant, but I'm not doing that for Return of Wolverine. And I'm still waiting, and I'm still not considering this volumized Wolverine. I'm still waiting for when it just says Wolverine. And when it just says Wolverine, then I have to start restart my volumized Wolverine collections. Looking forward to that. Uh, here's the Immortal Hulk number six. Definitely dropping this title. Uh, there's no way I'm picking up any more of these. They started off strong with the first book, and then they were hot and cold on each and every other book. And some of the books were just absolutely terrible. Um, I like the Alex Ross cover art. But other than that, uh, I'm out. <laughs> um, then we have Weapon Nation number seven. Really cool cover there. Not sure the cover art so is on that. I'll check on it. But it looks fantastic. I uh, love the cap art there and uh, battling uh, some kind of aliens. Still haven't started reading Weapon H, but I'm still collecting them because the covers are good enough to collect. And uh, need to get into those and hurry up and get some of those read. And last but not least, well, maybe least, I don't know yet, <laughs> Weapon H, uh, number eight. 
Uh, what's funny is that this says uh, new story, new artist, plus, hey everybody, it's me, Korg. And that's that guy. Um, you know, I, I'm not a Korg fan or anything like that, so, but it's interesting that they're bringing him in. And with new story, new artist, and all that stuff, this is where I'm dropping the title. This will probably be my last Weapon H uh, book collecting, and I'll just see how I like the story so far. And I can always go back and pick up some back issues later. So there you go. That's my comic haul. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. That's my pre-orders for October. So these are the books that came out basically all month of September uh, that I had ordered, and then they ship them at the end of the month. Well, the first of the next month. So I hope you all enjoyed that, and uh, when you get done checking out all the books that you ordered, uh, read a comic. Thanks. Bye.